if you just eat real food. Agreed completely. Yeah. You can't lose. There's no way you can lose. And I've I've done the carnivore diet. I've done all these fucking crazy things just for a bit of a bit of a mess around. But if you literally just what is uh, they say like if you turn the package around and you read the ingredients, if you can pronounce everything on the package, then you're allowed to eat it. That's Mike Dolce's approach, right? And he got loads of hate for this. And I was like, bro, like it just makes total sense to me. So if you eat a whole food diet and everything is real food, it's so difficult yeah. to eat high calorie. It's because hard to go wrong. I, I had to do, when I was fighting, training, training six hours a day, I'd have to hit like four or 5,000 calories. I'm sure you know bodybuilders that maybe mm. have to even go higher. To eat 4,000 calories of like meat, yeah. or like, it's almost you, impossible. You kind of have to eat some shit when you're at that kind of level, yeah. yeah. So it's like these, these people, if you, I'm just saying, oh, I've gone a bit of a rant, but if you're like struggling with weight and all that crap and you're looking for, obviously getting coaches and getting mentors, great. But if you just eat whole food, and walk a little bit, it's mm -hmm. like a good start for everyone before you start worrying about the 1% bullshit, you know what I mean? The issue is, is that everyone wants it fast. Like the approach of cleaning up your food, eating the right nutrients, all of this type of stuff, it is the solution. It's really, really simple. Now, yeah, the quality of the food is a little bit lower than it's ever been. It's not absorbing nutrients from the soil like it used to. So you're gonna have to maybe supplement with, some, with certain things. But everybody wants that end result yesterday and they know that if I just make these changes, which are the right changes, it's gonna take me six months. That's what people can't get their heads around. So what they'd rather do is instead of saying, I'll eat all of this food is they say, do you know what, I'd rather starve myself for the next three months or three weeks or six weeks, and then shit, I'm there, fuck, it's worked, but I've got a week again now. And then they just barrel back up. They haven't changed their habits. They've done nothing that's thinking forwards. They've thought, right, I'll do this now, they're not thinking ahead, which is a disaster for everything in life, as we know. No, I think um, <laughs> I had a chat with someone recently, and they put on. I was a, a guy called Pascal in Dubai. He's a magician, sick guy. Um, he's put on a load of weight, like 20 kilos or something. And I said, oh, How long did it take you to put the weight on? And he's like, About three years. I'm like, Okay, so how quickly do you expect to get rid of it? Like, if you put it, if it took three years to put it on, in my mind, and this is just, and this is, I have no evidence to this. Mm -hmm. In my mind, it's, okay, so it's gonna take you three years to get rid of it. Like, you, yeah, you can get rid of it quicker, but if you make sl slight changes to your habits and start doing properly, yeah. it's still gonna take those three years. So what sort of, I mean, what sort of advice do you give to people when they're trying to, they've done that. They've spent three years doing shit. How long, does it, how long, how long can you get real, real results? You can get real results really, really, really quickly, way faster than anybody thinks. However, you need to manage your expectations because you're gonna lose what you, uh, your loss is gonna be relative to the effort you're prepared to put in. Not even the effort you're pre prepared to put in, that's the wrong word. The sacrifices you're willing to make. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They will, every one of us lies on a continuum. Some people are gonna find it really easy. They walk past a set of dumbbells, put on three kilos of muscle and lose 6% body fat. We all know that dickhead and we all <laughs> hate them. Like you and I his have got- name, His name's Mike Thurston. I can say Mike Thurston, right? <laughs> but the thing is, better to Mike, he does train fucking hard oh, and he eats damn clean. But is um. We all know those people, you're just like, you motherfucker, like how? Some people like that end of the scale, others like this end of scale. People say, oh, this doesn't work for me. It does, it just might not work as fast as that person. You've just got to stick at it for longer. And this is what people are not prepared to do. Um, and I think if people can go in managing their expectations and say, do you know what? I'm not just gonna try and drop this really, really quickly because the faster you drop it, unless you've done it perfectly and you have the right guidance and mentors or whoever, you are gonna put it back on, for sure. It's coming back on. Whereas if you can change your state of mind from, right, I wanna get this weight off by this time to I just wanna get this weight off, the chances are you'll make different decisions on the way down. And then your choice is, do I wanna lose weight now or do I wanna keep it off? And if you do it the right way, you'll keep it off. If you do it the wrong way, it will just come back on. And a massive issue with that. And I think some of this, the fitness industry is changing and the health industry is changing a little bit, but ultimately the most commercially successful weight loss tools are always the worst ideas. Whether that be, you know, things like the, all the various shake diets, Weight Watchers or Slim and World or all of this, that and the other, it's not about nutrients at all. It's about calories in, calories out. And this is one of the most frustrating things I hear in our industry. That ultimately, yes, if we were to look at the, you know, the surface of what we do, calories are king. However, there are so many things below that. You know, we're looking at hormones, inflammation, neurotransmitters, recovery, what the calories are made of, the protein, all of these types of things matter, significantly matter but they're not given the credit 
for how much they matter. And this is, you know, even massive name trainers, they still go, oh, calories in, calories out. And they're misleading loads of people because it puts this, it's this simple, follow me, I'll shout really loudly about it. But it means that for the, let's say they take on 10,000 clients because they're a massive influencer. They're only getting transformations out of 20. Relative, there's fuck all, they're actually doing good because they're, they're simple, oversimplifying the process. Now the process is simple, don't get me wrong, but it's as you said, eat the right foods. You shouldn't be just tracking your calories and eating this shit and that shit and blah, 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 blah. People need to manage their expectations. They need to think about the long game and stop falling for shit on social media.